we're, we're, we're recording. <laughs> May I touch you? Yes, of course. Oh, good. Oh, so, to all of our beloveds around the world, I have the privilege of meeting one of our own of the heart and the Holy Spirit. This is Sister Ferio, and uh, we are in Bethlehem. We are at the Carmelite Monastery, and she will speak to us, if you will, of Saint Miriam who is a beautiful Saint Palestinian, they called her the Little Arab, and one of the beautiful messages she spoke of is, let the light of the Holy Spirit light up the world. And she, Sister Fariel is traveling the world carrying the message of the Holy Spirit, and she's our family. So I thought, this is she's a light ambassador, let me tell you, this is a light ambassador of the Holy Spirit. Would you speak to us about that beautiful thing you shared about emptying and yes. a little of St. Miriam. Okay. Uh, St. Miriam, she has something something special and this is, uh, she w once she was in ecstasy and she went to her mother superior telling her everything in this world is sleeping. Uh, you know, is, is glorifying the Jesus, uh, the tree, the birds, the water, the sun, the sun, the sky, everything in this, this this world is is singing for God. Only the human being, the one who knows God, is sleeping. Let's go and shake up the world. And we we started our mission with Maryam after the canonization with this message. We want to to go to the people, telling them, wake up, wake up. The Holy Spirit inside you. You must you must go deep inside to see this this God, this Holy Spirit that. You are you are from we are we are from the Holy Spirit. He's he's inside us. He's give, he gave us the light to go and go for the people, for all of them, not for a part, for all the world. And and this is we will not go if we are keeping our ego, our self inside. So the the only thing that Mariam had done and she really done it is she took her ego inside, out, and she put all inside, all the capacity inside for the Holy Spirit. Always she told him, Mama, my mother. When she saw something or she, he gave her an extras, anything, and she didn't understand, she, always she called the Holy Spirit to explain for, for her what she wants. And I always tell the people, please go back to the Bible with the Holy Spirit. Like this, He will explain for you the deep, deepness and the, the riches of the Holy, the Holy Bible, because this is life. This is a real life inside there. And Maryam, she can't read, but with the Holy Spirit, she went deep and deep in the Bible in her life. For the for the people, for loving the people, loving each others and God, of course. So she was empty inside, little little nothing she was, and the Holy Spirit have seen that there is a place for him there. For that he came, and he lived as he told us that I will be, I will come if I have place I will come and I will eat my dinner with me. Oh. Mariam, she saw the light. And I hope every one of us will see this light, will be part of this light also, because we are. But we need to clean mm. the dust and to be with the Holy Spirit always. He will guide us to what He wants. Because as Jesus said, He will tell you, He will hear for me and He will tell you. And this is our mission, mission now, to, to tell the people to lead them. Go to the light. You are in the darkness. Go, please, go to the light. Please be part of your Holy Spirit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so Thank happy to you. meet you. Thank <laughs> you. I love her, and we will see her next year in Bethlehem. I hope so. I hope so. Thank I hope you. So.